Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, you have not really been supportive. So, I will show us how we can use ProGuard in Sketchware number one and how we can reduce APK size. Best practices to take. So, first thing first, Sketchware has a lot of useless classes. It's not really useless, but in some cases where you won't use, you won't use a lot of features. The classes are not really useful. So I think also adds to the APK size. So we're going to take. So first thing first, you click here, you click on this. This removes a lot of irrelevant libraries and classes. Next, you come to your to here. You click on check source code. You you clear. I'm coming. I've already cleared it. Then you have you have to really do this in every of your activity. So I will release the project. You paste this here. I copied it from. Let me. So by default, when you create an empty project, when you create an empty project. This added, so you copy it from public void show message up to this second to the last bracket closing. Don't copy the last one, so you copy it and paste it in your command block. Command block can be gotten from your mob block, the Java one. Then you click on replace. The command should be replace, replace, find and replace. So I'm finding and replacing it with nothing. So this will be better help to remove unused codes. Our unused codes helps to reduce APK size by helps to increase APK size. So removing it will really reduce the APK size. So you need to really do this in every activity. So number two is when you use when you use this, make sure you're actually using everything instead of using using that and you are not using anything under the else block if you are not going to put anything here then it's best to use this block so that's another way lastly not to forget is the pro guard is the most useful but the most stressful so when you enable it when you enable it you click here For instance, when you enable it and you add add mob library, if you enable it and you add add mob library, so what you should do, let me just add a random add mob library. So for instance, every most libraries that come in AAR, they always have their program files. So this we copy the program files. To your to your to your own program at one time schedule we copy it thanks to the models so it will copy the program the, the program codes to your project so this will help reduce apk size number one and it will prevent crashing so when you enable add mob when you enable add mob when you enable add mob for schedule you need to do this. So as this is enabled, it will copy the program files. I will show you the program files immediately. So this is the program files, program of This is a sample. So by adding that library, by enabling program and enabling full mode and selecting your library that you added, you it will copy the program .txt file to your apk program .txt file before one time. So add compilation. So if I'm to come to my sketch 
if you enable add mob library there are a lot of proga.txt files which I'm, i don't think sketchway pro copies it only copy the modded version so what you have to do what you have to do is you come to your sketchway pro apk come to the apk view you click on view assets you click on libs lib dot zip so now admob uses a lot of play service play service libraries so we are going to these are the libraries admob use for play service this admob use this he uses this he uses this 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 So these are the libraries AdMob uses to show ads in your schedule. So all these ones I've selected, you need to click on them and check if they have a program. This doesn't have a program file. Doesn't have a this one has so you need to copy it. You need to copy it. If not, it might break your project. Your APK. Your APK may crash at launch. So as I've copied it, you are going to do the same, checking for all whether others to have the Puga.txt file. So, you are going to replace all this. You are going to paste it. You are going to paste it. Because you may also want to protect your source code. Puga helps reduce the, the high chances of making your APK being modern and all that but it's still possible not in 100 percent but it really comes very helpful because it's quite confusing the way to change all the classes and their names and the activities so it will be very confusing for any random dude to just do anything unless it's a real professional so like i said those are all and number two when you add a a resource file and you might not be using it it's best you remove it that is the best the best step to take if you had a resource file if you had a library you know you won't be using it's best you remove it so this feature was removed in the 6.4 i pray they add it when they officially remove when they officially release it so for now they have removed it but so to be wise it's best you use the 6.3 because the 6.3 still has a lot of great features so why we wait for the 6.4 these are the step to take to reduce apk size because program is really helpful it helps to reduce or remove unnecessary resources and it also help to protect the dex files that is it re it repackages their names so please subscribe and turn on notification bell to get notified whenever we post a video but we are sure you'll find the info this project will be found in sketchly sketchly link will be in the video in case you don't have it download it and get the project thank you